make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! So, when you visit the profile, then you see this JSON output. Of course, we need a profile view to output the data in a more user-friendly way. So, open resources, then open views, and here I will create a new folder. So, I will name this user, and inside here I will create a new file, a new view file. So, it will be profile.blade.php. Now, Laravel already provides a master file. It is this app.blade.php file, which is a very good starting point. So, what I will do is to go here and extend this. So, extends layouts.app. And, of course, we will also have the content. Well, I want, for example, a panel, and the panel will have all the data regarding the user. And, of course, it, it might also have an image. But first, before I do that, let me open the controller, the profile controller, and I want to return this view now that we just created instead of returning the user. So, return view, and then the view is inside user profile and we pass the user so this should be okay so let's take a look yeah perfect so I will log in the username in my case is Renato and the password it is secret so again if I go to profile slash Renato so this is my profile of course now we have nothing but let's create something all right so I will go to the profile and I will use some bootstrap for this. So please do not hate me for the design of this page. Anyway, now we need a row for this. So I will create a div here with the class row. Then we need another div. The class will be call md6. And I will also add some offset. So call md offset about three. So it is in the middle. Then I will create the panel, so the class for this one will be panel and panel default. And we also need a body, so I will not use a header because I don't really need this, but I need a body definitely, so panel, body, and also everything will be in the center, so to make everything in the center you have to use the text center. And yeah, so let's just output something here and see the result. Okay, it's not bad, but it is not in the middle, definitely not. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, I forgot the dash right here. Okay, let's go back again. Much better. So we need an image, right? So I will use this image tag here. For the image, we can take one from the internet. Profile, avatar, image, and let's see what we have. Of course, you can choose whichever you like, but in my case, I will go with this one. I mean, it's pretty cool, so yeah. What I will do is to just get the URL of this, so I will copy image address, because I don't want to save this image on my disk, and I will go and use this. All right, then we need uh, to display, for example, the name of the user. So I will use an H1 there, so we can say user name. What about also displaying, for example, the email of the user? So user email. And what else? We can also display the date of birth. So DOB. And okay, so let's take a look now. If I go here again, here it is. Of course, you can see that the image is very big. So we need some CSS style here. So let's do exactly that. I will go right here and I will say style. Maybe not the best place to put this style sheet here, but in any case, this is just something that I will do very fast. So it doesn't really matter at this point, but you probably shouldn't have something like this here. Anyway, so I will create a CSS class. I will call this profile IMG, and we can have the max width for this around 150. And we can also add some border about five pixels. We can have them solid and that one for the color. Then I want the image to be round, right? So I will use the radius for this. It will be 100%. 
and we can also add some shadow to the box. So something like zero, two pixels, two pixels, and then for the RGBA, the value zero, 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 and zero point something, we can say 0 0.3. So let's see what we have and and probably if we need any change, we will do that. So, oh, okay. Of course, we have to use this. So I will go right here and say class and use this class. The name is profile IMG. All right, so let's take a look. Much, much better. Now at the end right here, I might have to add a button to follow the user. So let's do that right here. I will say button, follow, and the class for this will be btn, btn, follow. Again, let's take a look. Maybe we have to make this green, so not follow, but success. That was my mistake. Yeah, much better. Now, what about having something like this, for example? So right here at the date of birth, we can say something like 20 years old, right? So we want to display in parentheses the age of the user according to the date that we pass, which is this one. So for this, I will definitely use carbon. However, we have two ways that we can do this. The first way is to use the function create from format. And the format here, as you can see, is year, month and day with dashes, of course. So let me try this. So instead of hard coding the, the age here, the number, what I can do is to say carbon, carbon, and then create from format. And the format, as I said, is year, month, day with dashes. And after that, we pass the user date of birth. So if I go back to this, we get this result. Of course, we have to take the age from the here. So I have to say age there. And yeah, of course, the year is zero because the, the year here is 2016. But in any case, this is not very bad. However, I, I expect this to be much more clear, right? I mean, this is not very clear. I don't like this so much. So I would prefer something else. I would prefer to do something, for example, like 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 this let me show you i prefer to do something like this dob and then age is this much better i think it is right so how can i do this so that the previous example this one is the first way that you can do this right and the other way that i want to show you is this one it is more clear and much better in my opinion so in order to do this just open the user model So as you know, every time you create a migration, you have by default two fields, created at and updated at. Eloquent will convert the two fields to carbon instances, which means that if instead of DOB here, you want to use, for example, created at, you can do that and you will get no error and you will get the age here. However, if you keep this as DOB, this will not work. As you can see, you get an error because DOB is a custom field that we added and it is not a carbon instance. So created at that we tried right now and updated at our carbon instances and you will get no error. So if you want to do something like this, you can do this. So Laravel for this case provides date mutators. So if you go to the user model, you can create date mutators. For example, you can see here protected dates. So this is an array. And inside the array, you can pass DOB. So once you pass DOB here, it means that when you go right here now and you say DOB, you will get no error. Let me show you. You see, you get no error. Now, the problem is that we get this timestamp. So it is not a date anymore. It is timestamp. So how can we fix this? Well, instead of displaying numbers, what about displaying text? For example, we can say, 2016 and for the month we can say November and for the day it is 25 of November so we can find the day that corresponds to, to that day and display the text and not just the number. So let's do that. So what I will do is to go here and I will change the format. So the format for this one will be 
L and then G and then capital F and then capital Y. So this is the format that you have to use in order to get something like this. As you see now, this says Friday 25 November 2016 and then you get how old the user is. Of course, I don't remember by heart how to format to get this output right here, but you can find out the formatting in the official documentation for Carbon and you will get everything right there, so you don't have to worry about this. So for now, I think this is enough. In the next video, we will see how you can start creating posts on your profile. So suppose that this is a profile of the user and then here you have the timeline below the image, below this panel here, you have the timeline. So right here, the user can start posting stuff and of course, we will see how you can do that in the next video.